the Luth Aerial Lift Bridge, uh, Great Republic. Great Republic, this is the Aerial Bridge, Cap, Channel 10. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Cap, Aerial Bridge. Hey, good morning, Aerial Bridge. This is uh, Great Republic. Uh, we're, we're leaving the uh, CN here in a couple minutes to let your way in. I'll give you another call while uh, I'm cargo, okay? Yeah, Roger, that cap sounds good. Uh, we'll see you guys shortly then. Hey, uh, is there anybody else moving around? That's right now, Cap. No one else is moving around at this time. Oh, right. That's what, yeah. It'll probably be about an hour before I get to That sounds good, Cap. I'm not going anywhere, so take your time. Bridge back 16. Public.
The party to the Lushitkino is the Great Republic. She was built as the American Republic in 1981 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 634 feet in length, 68 feet in width, and 40 feet in depth. She is powered by two 3,600 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters plus eight rudders, making her one of the most maneuverable lakers on the Great Lakes. The Great Republic has 21 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holes located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 40 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 24,800 tons. Above her deck is a 251-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Great Republic is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. Originally operated by American Steamship, she was given the name Republic due to her contract to deliver iron ore pellets to Republic Steel. She was designed to tra traverse the long and winding Cuyahoga River inland from Lake Erie to reach steel mills. In fact, her pilot house was positioned as far back as possible so that the officers could see the front and very back of the vessel. In 2011, the American Steamship Company's lease for Great Republic expired and was then forward operated by the Great Lakes Fleet. If you see any crew on board, give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. Thank you. 